What's up everyone? This week I'm gonna show you how to take some old reclaim wood, like this barn wood board that I have here, and turn it into lumber that we can use to build a project. Now as you can see, this board is very warped, twisted, bowed, cupped, pretty much everything it could possibly be. And I'm gonna show you how I take something like this, this is oak, and it's probably somewhere between 50 to 100 years old. I'm gonna show you how I take this and get it relatively flat and in my case, I'm using it to build a table. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do with this very twisted board is build a planer sled. And to do that, I'm gonna use a piece of half inch, a piece of half inch plywood to adhere this board to the surface so we have a flat surface to reference on the planer when we send it through. So as you can see, this board is extremely twisted. If we were to adhere it like this, we would end up losing a bunch of material just off of this side. So what we wanna do is we're gonna balance this out to where we take off equal material from this side down from that side. So we wanna shim it somewhere like that. If I put a shim in on this side, it's going to help level out the opposite side. First we'll glue the shim down and then we'll come back and glue the board to the shim. and I'll just keep adding shims until the board is really well secured. Now before sending it through the planer, we're gonna find the highest side, and that's the side we're gonna send through first, and we're gonna reference the planer off the height of that. So we remove the most material from that high side and not take a measurement from a shorter side that's gonna cause it to remove too much material and bog down the planer. Yeah, so that's the highest side. Okay, so we did the top side, which is actually uh, going to be the bottom, and you can see just how flat that is now. You can also see that we're gonna lose a lot of material when we uh, do the, what's gonna be the top of the table, but this is an extreme case. Something like this, you're gonna have to lose a lot of material to get it down to uh, lumber that you can actually work with. So you'll lose a lot, but here, let me show you. You still retain a lot of the character. So the wood is just absolutely beautiful underneath, but yet we still get to see some of the rough wood and some of the saw marks from where it was milled and on this side as well. Okay, well now we'll get this off of the planer sled and run the top side through. Okay, so we're done with that first piece, and I just wanna show you that it's it's relatively flat. It's not perfect, but with this old barn wood, you're not gonna, you're not gonna get it perfectly smooth, flat, dimensional like you would lumber that you would buy at the store. But this is, this is pretty good, and we retained enough of the thickness to make it useful for a tabletop. But this was a very extreme piece of wood. This was crazy twisted, and I just wanted to show that you could take that and turn it into something that was usable. We're gonna move on to this piece right here. This isn't near as twisted and bowed as the other one. There's still a little bit of a rock to it, but all we're gonna do with this one, and we're not gonna use a planer sled, but I wanna show you what it's like to skip plane a piece and retain as much of the character as possible while removing some of the high spots. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is get the height set on the planer to where I'm just barely gonna take off a little bit of material on the first pass. I just want it to maybe not even grab the whole thing. That's what I'm looking for right there. Right there, I'm gonna take off maybe a 64th of an inch. Each time I send it through, I'm only lowering the blades about a 64th to a 32nd of an inch, and this ensures that I don't take it down too far. And with this board, I ran it through until it was even while retaining much of the milling marks. Then I flipped it over and planed down the other side. 
now we've got the second board all skip plane. And you can see here how big of a difference there are between the two. When you're dealing with an extreme case, like how twisted this first board was, you're gonna lose a lot of that character. Uh, you're gonna keep a little bit of it, and we've got a little bit of the saw marks there. But in order to get this thing pretty flat, we lost a lot of the, uh, the saw marks and a lot of the character, but actually the wood underneath is really beautiful, and we retained some, so this is still gonna look really, really good. With this second piece, I didn't use the planer sled, and as you can see, we were able to keep a lot of that character, the saw marks in the wood. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna come behind that and I'm gonna sand this down to really even it up. I was left with these two gorgeous pieces of oak that got joined together and used in my Parsons table build. Thanks for watching this one. I really hope this helps and stick around to hear about my new shirts that are now available. Hey everyone, I'm excited to offer you guys my new shirts. They're available over on my website for 20 bucks, free shipping on these here in the US. And for international shipping, just shoot me an email or a DM and we'll figure out those additional costs. Now these shirts are a soft, comfortable, high quality tri-blend shirt made by a local business right here in Oklahoma City. And I've got sizes going all the way up to 3X. Just head over to my website to order your shirts now and there's links to that down below in the description. And make sure you guys like, subscribe, follow on Instagram, all those things. And we'll see you back here next time.